Hey guys, what is up? Just a freaking way here, and today I made a rocket that runs on wings. That's right, no fuel, no jets, just wing powered flight. Now, I'm not the first person to do this, uh, other people have done it, but this one gets pretty fast pretty quickly, and uh, then the flight is pretty much automated. So I figured I'd show it, share it with you. First thing we do is we start off on the launch pad going 4 meters per second, 5. What we do is by hitting the A and D keys, it'll wave the wings back and forth. And uh, thanks to the current system of aerodynamics, that uh, increases our velocity. So uh, let's see where we can get to. We actually get really fast today, but if you hear me tapping the keys a lot, you'll know why. The A and the D key. So we're already up to 6 meters per second. 7, 8. And we actually get pretty fast doing this method. kind of looks like a little bit like a porcupine <laughs> for a ship. So I thought that was pretty amusing when I made this. You know, uh, 30, 40. I really, you know, I'm surprised how fast this gets on the runway. Like, as long as the SAS module stays on, we don't, like, veer off course. Actually, really fast. 100 meters per second, thanks to just wings. A little elevation. And shake the wings. And what happens is once I pick up the landing gear, the plane's going to start to shake. And what that does is it causes the wings to autocorrect because of the SAS module. So the SAS module mimics user input in order to keep the plane straight. And since that will in turn move the wings, I basically have a self-powered vehicle without any jets. See, I'm not touching the keyboard anymore, and already we're still increasing speed to 63 meters per second, 64. The fastest I've gotten this was a little over 200 meters per second, but I don't think we're going to get there today uh, at a thousand feet. And again, this is completely without fuel or anything. We haven't even started any stages. So, uh, yeah. The only problem is it's very difficult to land because the wings will keep wanting to want uh, correct for position, which means if you get low enough, they'll still like keep trying to accelerate reach your speed, which means like as long as like unless you turn off the SAS module, they'll like you'll end up hitting the water at like 200 meters per second, which pretty much guarantees a death. Uh, you might be able to land on land pretty well, but again, you have to be going pretty flat, um, and I'm not sure. I want to wait, or you guys want to wait for me to get over the ocean. But um, one thing I want to see is I want to see how increasing the time warp affects it. All right, and it's slowing us down. I think it's because when we get into thinner atmosphere, the air becomes thinner, and we actually end up slowing us. So let's uh, level out a little bit. There we go, and we'll see if that increases our speed at all. Time warp up. Gotta be careful with this. I don't, I don't think it'll shake apart, but it just might. 85, 86. Once we get to 200 meters per second, I'm gonna turn off time warp because I think. Guess I'm a little hot water here. Oh, I think it stopped increasing. Alright, let's turn that off. Okay. So, that was where we got. Really like, <laughs> I think it's such an interesting thing that I could just leave this here and it would travel across the ocean unassisted. But, uh, it'd be a little far for that. In terms of orbit, our velocity is 354 meters per second, surface 178. So, not too bad. If I knew the exact circumference of the Earth, then I could probably like figure out the exact uh, the exact rotation time, because uh, based upon the orbit's uh, speed versus the regular speed, the surface speed. Hmm. Yeah, I just find this stuff really interesting. <laughs> just completely automated. I'm not touching the keyboard at all and I haven't been for a while and it just flies on its own. Well, 
I'm not sure what, uh, much, uh, much more I can really show you with this guy, so uh, I don't assume you'd stick around to watch it land. But, uh, yeah, that would take a while. Right about 5,000 meters, going down a little bit. But, uh, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is the automatic flyer that doesn't fly on any fuel. I encourage you guys to try and make one of your own. Uh, it'd be really cool. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. Again, I'm not the first person to ever do this. I probably won't be the last. I just think it's really an amusing part of the game. So, uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel to re leave a rate, comment, sub, fave, whatever you feel this video deserves. And uh, please leave a comment for feedback. And uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy. Hey, guys, what's up? Well, I let the plane ride out, and actually uh, it got pretty far. Got across two oceans, it's still going, I probably could go more, but uh, I'm just going to land it and uh, put some music in the background, so I hope you guys enjoy. Will you or won't you volunteer?